Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clever TV studio. I'm Jocelyn Davis, hanging out with my partner in crime, Dana Ward. That's right. And today we are super <laughs> excited to have joining us in the studio, Nat and Alex Wolf. You guys just performed your song, Maybe. It was incredible. Thank you. Loved it. Woo! Um, the best. So I cheering. also have to say, I love the video. Thank Whose idea was that? Um, it, it was kind of a mix of ideas. I mean, I, I say, you know, uh, we say, why not have a mannequin? Why not have a mannequin? Too many casting, videos of right? girls. Yeah. <laughs> Too many videos of girls. We like mannequins. I like the We're idea. We're weird. That the girl is looking at me through the shop window, and then I just go in and take the take mannequin. Take the mannequin. Yeah. I almost <laughs> died when I saw that scene. Yeah. I've always been Hilarious. kind of attracted to mannequins. I think we just kind of had to put it in a video. So what's so what's the meaning behind it, though? Yeah. For anyone who's still wondering. About the meaning behind what? The mannequin. How he the falls for the yeah. girl who's plastic and fake. That's what it is. No, I'm just um, it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's, a, just, it's a mannequin. It's just nutty. Liana Liberato is this awesome actress who, um, you know, starred in Trust and all these movies, and she is a friend of mine, and we asked her to be in the video too. So she plays the girl that I end up actually going for, who's the real girl, you know. But she, um, I'm still in love she with laughed when I, when I, you know, when she found out that I was gonna go for the, the mannequin. I, I say like okay after like the like prologue at the very end is like, the Nat ends up with uh, Liana's character, and I end up with the mannequin. <laughs> In your presence, I see you're happy. I can tell. Maybe this is and the video is hilarious. I mean, it's sweet and hilarious and romantic. Definitely very notebook inspired, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the lyrics are like really impactful. Do you guys write the lyrics yourselves? What's the story behind the inspiration? Um, <laughs> Uh, we write all the songs. Uh, I write the songs usually that I sing, and he has little edits, and then he'll write a song that he sings, and I have little edits. And for this album, um, we sing recorded every single noise. instrument on it, just the two of us, wow. and went in with a producer. Amazing. We did everything by ourselves just two months, you know, the three of us, um, me, Alex, and producer. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like with any song, it's not, <laughs> like with any song, it's not like completely uh, clear what the, specific inspiration was but it was um it's definitely not a funny it's not like it's supposed to be a funny right. song but the video is just kind of funny I think it worked well with the video because you know I like when videos don't necessarily completely like when videos go too well with the lyrics it's kind of corny and stuff mm -hmm. so so the lyric the yeah. song kind of did had was meaningful for me you know and you guys have actually been doing music together for a long time. You have a ton yeah. of tracks already. We've known out each there. other a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the beginning of your life, right? <laughs> yeah. Brother, almost. There's a few years. <laughs> yeah. 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 But what's unique about Black Sheep, this particular album? What's different? It's super, it's super true to where we are. Like you know, it's super true to us at like the teenager kind of that kind of stage in life. It's like. We, we, we just yeah, kind of, I mean, and it's honest, and we did everything, we played every instrument on it. That's so it. impressive. It's kind of just like us. It's kind of just like hard on the sleeve, kind of like. Now I have to say, there are so many, there's so many artists out there. A lot of people and your fans know you guys from Nickelodeon, which is awesome. What a great fan base to have. And there are so many other, you know, singers and actors on shows on Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel. Um, is there anyone out there that you guys see right now that you're just like dying to collaborate with? I mean, if Taylor Swift wanted to do something, I think Abby, she's cool. And that would be awesome. Um, I'm but I think there's there's some cool people. I mean, a new band that's like right foster the people is a oh cool new gosh. band that we'd love to. Totally. Like yeah. Vampire Weekend, Arctic Fire, and all those bands we'd love to do some new. Yeah. MGMT. MGMT, totally. On your guys' new release, what song for each of you is like your favorite? I know that's really hard to choose. One of my favorites of Alex's is Thump Thump Thump. And my favorite of Nats is Illuminated. That that's actually Illuminated is my favorite on the record because I I don't know I think that's most powerful on the record. Um, I think of mine the best is Losing You to the Crowd is a song. I like Losing the Crowd. I, I, Tell us um, something unique yeah, about each of these songs. <laughs> yeah. We're just naming them. Uh, I Won't Love You Any Less is one of my favorites that I wrote. It's kind of like, because uh, sometimes it's cool when I just, I'll write a song in 15 minutes and all the lyrics will just kind of pour out. But sometimes it's like a um, pain state, like it's a process, you know? And for I Won't Love You Any Less, I spent a lot of time on the lyrics, months, like, Months, I would come back and like edit and edit to the point where I thought it was perfect. And I think lyrically is probably my best song. I don't know because it's kind of like um, trying to make it work on different levels and stuff. But uh, for Alex, I love uh, Thump Thump Thump. I just think it's an awesome song. And uh, Lullaby because it's a rocker. It's like probably our most wild rocker. And on stage, it's really fun to do rockers. You know? My yeah, I guess my favorite. The reason I think Losing to the Crowd 
Like that's the one that kind of pops in my head. It's because I think that's my best <laughs> vocal. Oh. I just think it's my best vocal. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I just never, because I just go high and do crazy stuff. I never done. It was just the most experimental. It just weird and kind of like we were listening to a lot of Jeff Buckley at that time so I was just going we showed crazy. it to our guitar player in our band and he goes <laughs> yeah, I sound like he goes he goes Alex I didn't realize you know I, you sound like like you've been like you know doing drugs and smoking cigarettes <laughs> yeah. for like 20 years <laughs> and living in like a you know insane yeah. asylum for a period and like yeah. in and out of rehab like yeah that, that's, that's how dark you sound like. you know but I think my most honest like kind of just so there that's almost like Embarrassing for me to listen to, you know, and it's like a, it's almost like a po like a diary or something. Like that song, disappointed on the record, I uh -huh. wrote out of just complete like I was a, a like stream of consciousness, and it's on the record. And like sometimes I listen to it, and just, I can't even play it for some people. Like I just I'm so like embarrassed by it. So, yeah, is that scary? Uh, Do you guys get really excited to share your new music, or is it kind of a combo platter? Combo. It's combo because well, well, it depends on the song. Like like a song like. Thump, 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 I was excited because it was like a love song and it's happy, but this song, mm -hmm. I was so nervous about showing anybody because I was just like, it kind of just gets rid of everything. Everyone can like see through me after this. What about the title of the album, Black Sheep? Yeah. Black Sheep, <laughs> it, that, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, Black Sheep is kind of mm -hmm. like uh, how we feel and how a lot of people feel. Well, like kind of how we came up yeah. with it is kind of a funny story. It's like, we were just in the airport one time and Alex and I, when we get into public places where you're not supposed to be crazy, kind of we get crazier, and like we like <laughs> sounds familiar. <laughs> we start like wreaking a lot of havoc, and so we were in the airport just acting like idiots, like throwing oh, bags man. and like just <laughs> <Drinks>. <laughs> playing games with the bags and just uh, just messing around, and everybody's like, you know like looking back pissed off, and I was Alex goes we're really like the black sheep of this airport, and I was like we're really like the black sheep everywhere we go, and and then we started realizing like just kind of. In relation to like this question about like all the TV kids that we kind of grew up around and all this stuff, we kind of were. We lived in New York and we wrote our own songs and we kind of tried not to um, conform. Con yeah, conform into this thing. And I mean, that sounds, I guess, kind of pretentious or whatever. But we did. We honestly like made a conscious effort to keep with thing and you know made it so we didn't, um, you know, we kind of did it our own way, which like took a longer time and was you know. Um, not as big as like the Naked Brothers, you know, not as crazy and like, but I think it was for the better, you know, and so we kind of thought like, oh, this is the album where we're kind of the black sheep and hopefully, you know, pays off. Congrats also in being fabulous actors. <laughs> <laughs> BT Dubs, New Year's Eve, out right now. Yes. BT Dubs, you guys are really nice. <laughs> you guys are, um, yeah, I got to be in a movie uh, a couple summers ago where I played this really strange um, nerdy filmmaker kid and I did it with, um, and Jane Fonda's in it, and Catherine Keener. It's a movie called Peace, Love, and Misunderstanding. And so the director had the music and all that stuff. And Alex just did a uh, movie it's called Hairbrain. Movie Hair Brain. And they're going to put our songs in it. Um, Congrats, that's yeah. awesome. And they're going to put our songs in it. And, and yeah. And we both have movies out now. <laughs> yeah, we were both in. Uh, Came out on the, same, on the day. same day. He was in The Sitter, and I was in New Year's Oh my Eve. gosh! <laughs> wow, yeah. was there any competition in the house? When Opening you guys didn't weekend. See? Opening weekend. We have a, weekend. We did a video on YouTube where we go to the movie theater and we're like, "Are you ready to see the movie?" And then we go to the counter and we're like, "We've got two tickets to New Year's Eve, The Sitter." You know, we say at the same time. <laughs> and, yeah. We just start fighting over it. Yeah. Well, you guys, thanks for coming in. It was so fun to see you guys perform. Maybe we have, we're too. gonna have that on the channel. Um, and I know definitely that we will have maybe on the we channel. We will definitely have maybe. Thanks. That was good. It's definitely. Very confusing. <laughs> definitely maybe. <laughs> and good luck with everything, you guys. All your movie projects. And with that, that thank you guys for coming into play. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks for having us. And you guys us. out there watching, make sure to stick with us for all the latest on Nat and Alex. We're gonna have all the info down in our info box about their album and their music video. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward, and we'll see you guys next Partners time. Partners in crime. Bye guys. Bye. Partners in Partners crime. Partners in crime. Yes. Maybe there's a reason I stand.